out here we're gonna slap this thing rest of the way back together we'll leave the clutch off there for now we just want to get it together where we can uh, get it started see what happens uh, just got to put the covers on I think well we got to put the rocker in rocker cap rocker cover whatever you want to call it um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much about it we got to set the set the valve lash so hopefully hopefully she runs all right what i'm scared of is it's going to run right because there ain't no oil in the cylinder and then that oil is going to come up that crack it's got little cups I set these over here so I knew where they was where they went right there might have to end up get some different pliers but there we go <clears throat> we'll turn these out We just want to get them so they're touching and holding in for us. So that's in. Uh, okay. We'll put this in here to make sure we. Oh man! What size was that? Nineteen. Think that's twenty-one. Not a twenty one. That's twenty two. in there. Oh. Alright, so we 
can see the valves moving up here. Since we know this one's going down, we can set that one. It's supposed to be set at 40, 400 thou. I got a 500 thou here. The intake, uh, they say, is uh, it gets tight after uh, after a while, so it's best to set it at five. And I mean, it's pretty tight, so we'll set this at. Set that one at five. It's pretty good, still pretty tight in there. So then we'll turn this until the exhaust starts going down that way. I do it that way when the valves, so the valve, the other ops valves going down, we know the other one's up, so for sure. It don't look like it's moving at all, does it? Huh, I hope I ain't got to open that case back up. I do, I'm a mad man. that tap is still in there because man that will suck I think. let's spin it make sure yeah there she, she's going down now positive it's both in there Should be in there now. We'll uh, let's rotate it and make sure that's the socks one going up and down.
Well, I'm gonna have to figure this out, then we'll bring you back in here. All right, crisis averted. We got lucky. Uh, we didn't get lucky. I was pretty sure I had that uh, where uh, I had them poppets or whatever you call it in there, lifters. So I just had to make sure get them rods in there, right? Uh, so that one's going down. This one's to be fully up. Let's go ahead and reset this. And that's a 5-2. I should put that at a 4, but we're going to do it at a 5. drag on her I'll go the other way so the, the, the exhaust is going down so we know this one's fully up also so all I'm doing is just turning that little knob that bolt in there until it gets kind of firm where you don't want to force it down the filler gauge won't read right. If you can see that that there turn a little bit, so we back it up just a little bit. Come on. There we go. We'll hold that right there and uh, a tight. Nope, she's too loose. Yep, rudely interrupted again by this freaking GoPro batteries. I'm uh, I'm gonna be finding a new camera. I don't care. Out the spark plug because it will uh, it uh, release the compression help help the turn. Oh. All right, so um, I'm not sure what order I got to put this stuff back together. Um, So what I think probably happened with this thing is it got hot. Remember that rat's nest we seen earlier? Uh, in the last video. I think that may have got hot made, and cracked that crack, that cylinder. So I think that's what happened to it. Uh, I did talk to the customer finally. She called me back. So obviously he says go ahead and just put it back together and we'll see how she runs. And uh, we talk maybe doing a engine swap on it repower the thing but I think he's gonna try to shuck it off on the next sucker which is kind of sad in a way but you know what he I ought to I ought to make a little uh, thing down here it says uh, cracking the cylinder don't buy but you know I don't know it's kind of kind of sad that somebody would sell off their uh, you know, sell off a cart onto somebody and then, 
you know, knowing that it's bad too. But it is what it is. There ain't much I can do about it. But all I can do is put it back together the way it was. And now I know that there was like some. We had some ten millimeters. It went into the front of that cover. I think that one was hit. And it kind of went down. It went down there somewhere. I'm not real positive where it went right there. So, yay. This is the worst part. I'm trying to put stuff back in these tight holes that you took out. That may not get it. So uh, I'm going to be fumbling with that one for a minute, guys. So it's just a little tin, and I got to fit it down there between the starter and the, that case there. So let me get that one in. Let me get the other part of the case on. Uh, bring it back. We, we'll put in the we'll put in the uh, studs for this and the carburetor on. And, uh, we'll give it a whirl. I'm just going to throw the carb on for now, and uh, we'll start it up. I got to put oil in it too. Don't let me forget that. We'll throw some oil in it, and uh, we'll let it run a little bit and just kind of see what happens. And then uh, we'll finish putting it back together. And then after we put it back together, we'll take it for a test drive and run it real good. And we'll see what this plug looks like after the fact. So let me, uh, let me get this uh, cover on there. All right, we've got it all back together. And we had not put the clutch on there. I haven't put the cover on yet. I had a buddy of mine stop over, so I kind of did all this while he was here and we were talking. And I didn't really want to record nothing while we were, he was here. And so, let me straighten this up. So everything's hooked up. Uh, I had to go get some gas. I'm gonna make sure we're getting fuel. So, we're gonna step on the gas and hopefully we're getting fuel. I went to put oil in here and I checked the dipstick. I'm like, man, there ain't no oil in this thing. What the, where's, where's it going? Well, there it is. All leaked out. I didn't put the uh I didn't put the drain plug in. <laughs> well let's see if we get in any fuel yet. There she comes. Yep. She was out of fuel, so I gotta hook this fuel line back up. I had to put go get some fuel get some gasolines and put in her she was out so I'm gonna charge a customer some more money for fuel not really but I should See if uh, let's see how she runs. Hopefully she runs pretty good, and the guy can run it until the cylinder finally goes, or do whatever he wants with it. It's, uh, once it leaves here, it's not my responsibility because we know that it's got a cracked cylinder. I told him if he wanted to. Gave the option if he ever wants to repower it, we'll repower it for him. We'll find us an old, uh, an old, old, uh, side shaft motor there and throw a clutch on her and put her on there and see what happens. carburetor up with some fuel too because it's you know I'll have to say here pump a little bit for the 
until the fuel gets up in there. Come on. She should have enough fuel in there now. Let me take the jumper cables off and shut that hood. And This is my battery. His battery's junk too, so we'll have to deal with that. Oh, let's see. Come on. I heard her sputter. Yeah, she wanted to drive. So that's a good thing. I need to get the uh, clutch cover put back on her, and then we'll uh, we'll get her out for a test drive and see how how long we keep the oil up out of her. Hopefully, it stays out of there. I just don't know. So I'm gonna throw this cover on. Let's see where's the cover here. She just held on by some Phillips screws, so not that big of a deal to put on. So I'll slap that on and we'll uh, we'll take her for a test drive, guys. All right, we're heading up to Silk Road. Ooh, this thing's fast. that oil mess god I can't believe I did that well I do I don't know why I say stuff like that so I got a problem with the carburetor probably need to clean the main jet so I'm gonna do that and uh, I'm gonna tell this guy to come get it I'll just tell him to replace the old carburetor I don't feel like messing with it so I'll make the end of this video. Uh, this is just a little quick follow-up, finishing it up. So there's the ugly little thing. I appreciate you guys watching, uh, taking time out, helping try to support me here to mess around with the hobbies of this stuff. Um, yeah, well, I work on customers. That's not so much of a hobby, but I like doing it, and getting paid for it too helps. But you know, projects like that is what you guys are help supporting. And this other golf cart out here that that's mine that I'm obviously painting. We'll probably put a lift kit stuff on it. We'll probably make it look pretty cool. See what we can do with it. Maybe maybe flip it. All right. Well, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.